This is a 2020 Mercedes-Benz GLS 454 Matic. Hey folks, I'm Rob. And I'm Nathan. I'm Ryan. And today we're working with our friends at Sears Imported Autos selling magnificently beautiful Mercedes-Benz vehicles. Hey folks, I'm Rob. And I'm Nathan. And we are Two, two guys, guys in a ride. ride. Say, Nathan, what are we taking a look at today? Oh, man, we have today the 2020 Mercedes-Benz GLS 450 4 Matic. That's right. But say, before we take a look at this, if you want to keep up to date with all the uh, new cars, trucks, and SUVs, you like all the cool technology that's built into them, and you like cool collector cars, take a moment to hit that subscribe button down below and hit that bell notification up above so you never miss a video. That's right. So what do you say, Nathan? Let's, Let's go, go for a ride. ride. All right, so here we are in the ride of the uh, 2020 GLS 454 Matic. Yeah, and it, it, it is definitely the S uh, it is packed full of creature comforts. S class of SUVs. Yes. Boy, oh boy. Well, we'll show you that a little bit more in the interior review. But man, is it just packed full. I absolutely love it. The drive is really nice. Um, ease of getting in. There's a setting on here where you can tell the car to automatically lower when you want to get in. Huh? Um, so it so, bows to you. Correct. <laughs> So you can just swivel and you can uh, sit yourself right down in the seat uh, We know without having to get up on your toes or stretch or anything. So it really makes it for shorter people or for, um, you know, people who are uh, maybe physically challenged for getting in and out of things like that. You Younger, know, older, for kids. Different you know, leg movements. Well, kids, people have had surgery. People yep. have, you know, so... Um, it, uh, sorry, the, uh, the augmented navigation just came on. That was really cool. Um, but so the ease of use is it's about as easy to get in as anything. Um, and despite the fact that it's an, a, a large sized SUV. Um, as far as controlling everything, oh my gosh, MBUX systems are got to be one of the best design. They are simply intuitive. It's you can reach every you can do everything from your steering wheel. You can do most everything with just the phrase. I don't want to say it loud. It'll, it'll, it picked it up. It'll, it still picked it up. Cancel. <laughs> so you can't um, even whisper it. Be careful. No, but it, I mean, it's just so you don't even have to reach for things. You can just tell it to do things. Mm -hmm. And it's, you know, it's that it's intuitive. You can give it exact commands. You can tell it to turn on a heated seat or close the sunroof or something like that. But you can also just say, I'm cold. And it will instantly increase the heat in your area. Maybe turn on the heated seats, you know, depending on the temperature. But yeah, just wow. Um, comfort. Well, right now I am there. There's so many modes in here, and if I I'm just going to put in comfort mode right now. It's lowering the suspension automatically. It's making other adjustments to the steering and the shift points. Um, but it is nice. It is extremely quiet in here. Mm -hmm very quiet you got infinite adjustments on you know on the seats as far as so you get you know leg room and, and head room front and rear it's not, I, I I really like it all right so I'm gonna pull over here and let Rob drive or at least let him get out in the snow oh man this is nice because even though it is a large vehicle it does not drive like a large vehicle it's very uh, easily maneuverable in and out of parking lots and down the road uh, so it's I really like that and Nathan you did you get a picture of the, uh, the yeah. cameras on when you stop and uh, you got the yeah. signals on here that's kind of cool yeah that augmented reality is really neat you know yeah you know, fit and finish it's just beautiful it's a Mercedes so yeah, what do you expect? it's, it's wow. flawless all right we're uh, we're taking off a little bit here let's see what we got 
set you back a little bit, didn't it? Yes, it did. Bit finish, acceleration are great, ride, comfort, quiet. Yeah, that's what I said. Notice right away is just how nice and quiet it is in the cab. Yeah. I'm loving these captain's chairs. You know, this is the new op new newly option six uh, six passenger configuration, and I absolutely love it. The, the seats back here are um, very comfortable. Um, plenty of leg room, headroom. I even have automatic sunscreens. Oh, cool. Automatic sunscreens. Yeah. Nice. The, yeah. Hey, and actually on this video, we're going to shoot, you know, we've done some of the videos that we uh, we do the infotainment system. system. We're going to do that. But this vehicle also has so many uh, comfort and convenience features built in as well. We're going to do yet another video of that that shows you all the cool tech comfort and convenience systems. So, you know, this does, I, I am in a very large SUV, but it doesn't feel like it. At all, it no, doesn't it's, it's handle that way at and, all. And it handles, wow, yeah. And there's imperfections all over these roads, and I see them, and I, you know, just mentally and physically, you you brace for them, but I don't feel them. <laughs> so we go over them. It's like, okay, well, what happened to it? I know it was there. Why didn't we hit it? <laughs> I, well, I can tell you why we didn't hit it because the car has a suspension system that uses its cameras to read the real road conditions and then adjust the suspension continuously. Okay, coming up next, uh, my full outside review with tech specs, design, favorite features, and then Nathan later is gonna show you, like we said, the whole infotainment system, and he's gonna show you the comfort and conveniences as well. More space, more comfort, more luxury, and still an SUV without peer. It is the SUV all other sport utility vehicles wish they could be. The 2020 Mercedes-Benz GLS is the third generation model of the German car maker's biggest and most luxurious SUV. Now the Mercedes-Benz GLS sets an even higher standard with a spectacularly redefined interior, increased intelligence, and an electrified engine and features that redefine luxury driving. This is the 2020 Mercedes-Benz GLS 454 Matic and this next generation takes you even further than ever before. Now this beautiful GLS is presented in iridium silver with a black MB text interior. Now this does have a three liter inline six that is a turbo with EQ boost and a 48 volt onboard electric system producing 362 horsepower, 369 foot pound of torque. It is a twin turbocharged and intercooled double overhead Kelm 32 valves. And uh, the overall total horsepower and torque, the AC motor delivers 21 horsepower and 184 foot pound of torque with a lithium ion uh, battery. This GLS can do zero to 60 in 5.9 seconds, zero to 100 in 14.4 seconds, standing quarter mile in 14.2 seconds, and it has an overall total top speed of 130 miles per hour. It does have the uh, engine auto start stop feature. There is four wheel, full time, four matic, all wheel drive, and it is driven by a nine speed G-Tronic automatic transmission. You do have fully automatic projector beam LED low and high beam with daytime running lights that also have auto leveling directionally adaptive. And you do have the auto high beam headlights with delay on and off. Now the headlights are LED multi-beam units that Mercedes-Benz says it, they have 112 LEDs per headlight. You also have the chrome grill and chrome skid plate with the body colored bumper fascia and you have uh, rain sensing wipers and a laminated front windshield. This GLS has the triple five spoke wheels and then the tires are 275-45 R21 on the front and 315-40 uh, R21 all season on the back. This GLS has regenerative four wheel disc brakes with four wheel anti-lock brakes and the front is 14 point inch, eight inch, and the rear disc are 13.6, and they're ventilated as well. It does also have brake assist, hill descent control, hill hold control, and an electronic parking brake. Out front, the front suspension 
is double wishbone with coral springs, single tube sock shock absorber with SSD and tubular torsion bar. Now the rear suspension is independent multi-link suspension with coil spring, single tube shock absorber with SSD and tubular torsion bar. This vehicle does have e-active body control, which is an all new intelligent suspension. Uh, it does have driver control height adjustable suspension. It has four corner auto leveling suspension. And it does have front and rear anti-roll bars. Also electric power assist speed sensing steering. It has permanent locking hubs, active park assist with automated parking sensors, and uh, it does have out back a surround view backup camera. It has a front camera, a left side camera, and a right side camera. So you've got the whole parameter in the uh, camera for the vehicle. Okay, this does have keyless remote ent entry. It has a remote engine start, and it also has heated power folding mirrors with integrated turn signal indicators. And it also has the puddle lamps and the cameras. Now you do have uh, the illuminated running boards, the brushed stainless window surrounds and roof rack rails. Say that three times real fast. Uh, and you do have the black Willwell protective moldings. Out back, we have the roofline spoiler, privacy glass. You do have the rear wiper, and these are LED tail lights. You also have the chrome strip along the tailgate, and then you have the chrome and uh, at the bumper guard and the skid plate, and you have the body colored bumper fascia. Now this is a power lift gate, and it does have the quasi dual stainless exhaust tips, uh, and they are chrome tip finishers. This vehicle has a 23.8 gallon fuel tank, and it gives you 19 city, 24 highway, and 21 combined. Okay, the cargo volume behind the first row, so all the seats folded, is 84.7 cubic feet. And the cargo volume uh, behind the second row, so just the third row folded, is uh, 48.7 cubic feet. And then the cargo volume, as you see here, is 17.4 cubic feet. Okay, the wheelbase is 123.4 inches. Now the GLS is slightly larger than before. Uh, it's got a 2.4 inch longer wheelbase on it than even a BMW X7. And it's actually longer than the long wheelbase Range Rover. Now the overall length of the vehicle is 205 inches. The width is 84.9 inches. The height is 71.8 inches. And its turning circle is 39.4 feet. Very nice, very easy to maneuver, uh, pretty good, I love that. It's really cool that it's, it's so tight of a turning circle. Now the curb weight on this vehicle is 5,450 pounds and its maximum towing when properly equipped is 7,700 pounds. Ground clearance is 8.5 inches. Now it is covered by a five year, or excuse me, four year 50,000 mile warranty. Okay, so already there, we, Nathan wants to take you for a tour on the inside. He actually wants to get out of the weather. <laughs> Got a little snow and sleet going on here if you haven't been able to tell yet. But uh, he's out here freezing. He wants to get inside and show you all the technology that's in this vehicle. Take all right, away, come on in. Stepping on the inside of the GLS 450 is uh, you have MB Text uh, doors and you have MB Text seats and uh, dashboard and the, the thing i like about mb techs i know sometimes people say when they you know they buy a vehicle uh at this uh level of expense um that they want leather in there but to me mb techs looks just as good it lasts longer it looks better over time and it's easier to clean so if i got one i'd get the mb techs that being said uh, there's a couple of unique things here on the door. First of all, you have a 12-way power seat. You have a three-person memory setting. Uh, you have heated seats. You have ventilated seats. But then over here with this little button right here, if I push that, then all of my seat controls will affect the passenger seat. Which I just think is awesome. All right, uh, other than that here, you've got uh, automatic up and down windows, uh, your window lockout, your mirror controls, and your power folding button right there, as well as uh, bottle storage here and storage down here, and then your trunk release. 
as well as one of the awesome Burmeister speakers. And now in addition to this on the seat, both driver and passenger have a uh, two position lumbar. So, and that's actually two separate lumbars. So one's a little more up, uh, upper back and one's a, a, a definitely a lower back. Okay, moving up here, you have got your, your parking brake, you've got auto lights on here, and then you have your fog lights, and then you have your dashboard dimming uh, switch right there. I do like the Mercedes-Benz logo, which is right here. Please repeat. Now, I've already done an uh, infotainment video with the MBUX system. Uh, and so if you want to see that in detail and what it does, click on the, the link above and that'll take you right there. Um, we have another video uh, with a few additional features, the Mercedes Me uh, and some other features on this vehicle. And that'll be in a separate uh, infotainment uh, video and you can um, click on that above to get to that. So I'm not really gonna cover anything. I'm just gonna say I absolutely love the MBUX system. It is just awesome. This steering wheel does come with a power tilt and telescoping. And then of course you have cruise control over here. You can use this trackpad here to control the driver's information uh, area. You can scroll through things, okay? But that's all covered in um, the other video. So I won't go into detail there, but that's where that is. This side is identical. And I, I absolutely think Mercedes was uh, very smart in creating the exact same control uh, features on both sides so it's easy to remember uh, what the things do. But these little track pads are just amazing. They do the same thing that this big one down here does. All right. Over here, we have uh, auto four zone auto climate control. If you, you have all the physical buttons right here, but if you want to um, look at the, the uh, on screen, you can click right here and then you can control it from here. Now, um, it does have a physical sync button down here, which I really like to have. And you may ask me, well, how do I control the back? And it's right here. You just press second row of seats and now all of your controls up here are for the second row. And you can turn the rear off as well. The auto start stop button is right here. So this is right next to the uh, start stop engine button. Okay. I absolutely love these grab handles right here. Same as the other Mercedes we looked at. Move my glasses out of the way here. And this of course is your suspension to raise or lower it but your suspension will also raise or lower auto, uh, automatically when you change drive modes. So this again has just a few drive modes. Just a few. You have got off-road, eco, comfort, sport, and individual, where you can customize the different settings. So one other really nice feature in here, again, is that you have your wireless charger right here built in. And this also acts as your near field technology. So if you put your phone in here, um, it will actually automatically sync via Bluetooth. And then you have uh, USB-C ports uh, throughout the vehicle, but here's two of them that will hook in and do Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Um, this one's Android Auto, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, and this one's uh, charge only. You do have a cigar lighter right here or you can plug a 12 volt, uh, something 12 volt in there. You got nice cup holders, they are illuminated. Okay. And, these keys back. If you want this covered, you can pull this back and the whole thing is just, got a nice shiny black surface to it. Very, very uh, slick looking. Coming back here, you have the push button for your uh, center armrest console. And it just opens up and then down in here you have some nice deep storage and you have one USB-C outlet and then you have uh, could hold your keys down here could hold maybe a phone that sits upright like this as well okay and then if we come down here the glove compartment 
It is dampened, it is felt lined, it's nice, it's deep, got lots of space in there, and you have a pencil or pen holder right there. Up here, you have an automatic day night mirror, and then your home link buttons are right here. Back here, you have your controls for your sunroof, your sun, sh uh, the sunshade is actually manual. Then up here you have your SOS buttons and your Mercedes Me buttons. And then of course you have all your light settings up here for these lights. All right, over here on the passenger side, you can see the setup is the same with the exception of you don't have control over the driver's seat. You got the bottle storage down here and then more ample storage right back here. And you have the same 12-way power plus the four position lumbar. I do like that they put in cargo nets on the side here. I'm a big fan of having side supports or side pockets there, and I really like that. All right, let's take a step into the back. All right, in the second row, you of course have six way power seats. So you've got the Burmeister speaker, you've got your um, auto up and down window, you do have some bottle holder right down here, um, and then dual cargo nets back here and cup holders at the top. Now, over here, this car, car comes with four zone climate control. So in the back, you've got a passenger, uh, the left passenger and the right passenger. All right, so uh, you also have an auto feature and then you can turn that on or off. Okay, now, in addition to that down here, you've got a little push button and this tray will extract for you and you've got dual USB-C ports as well as a household outlet. And then these, these pieces right here on the back of the seats on both of these, this, this would be where you would have Mercedes add, say, an infotainment screen back here um, or some more additional uh, ports uh, to, to plug in your electronics. So that's where that would go. That's not nothing that you should take apart. Please don't. Uh, but a Mercedes-Benz dealer, would, that's where they would add some of that stuff. So it gives them access to the power. The chairs themselves here are just really, really comfortable. I, I, I just, they're, they're wide. Um, they just, uh, for me, I, I like it. Um, they're just slightly bolstered and it's, it's very comfortable. I, you gotta love having power second row seats. I know I do. So in terms of leg room, uh, if you're just riding with four passengers, right now I have the seat set back as far as it'll go. Front seat's comfortable for where it's set for me, and I've got over a foot of space. Okay? Now that doesn't leave you much space for the uh, third row, so you wouldn't want it back that far, but let me just show you. If I... Okay, that's about as far forward as I can go. And you do have a reading light up here, as well as a microphone for the hey mercedes how may i help you now I, I should mention before i pull this up that you can as an option get heated seats here and in the third row okay so uh, the way mercedes makes this is that they only allow this seat to actually pull forward to get into the third row because it's not safe to get on the driver's side where you have traffic so there is a just a physical button right up here next to the headrest you simply pull it once and if you have an infant car seat in here, it'll just stay. You don't have to worry about it. It'll actually push this seat forward if it needs to. And then from here, I can step in. And I gotta tell you, it's not bad getting in that way either. Then I take this, the same button, and I just push it down. You do have to hold it down, but then it brings the seat right back to where it was. That seat was adjusted comfortable for me. And you can see I have got about in close to two inches of leg space here. Okay. Now I do have to, as in typical in third rows, I do have to manually raise the headrest. Okay. And there you go. So this is actually fairly comfortable. Headroom. I have almost three inches they do have cup holders along with dual usb-c ports on each side 
Okay, and my favorite thing on this vehicle, uh, it's overall styling, but I really do love the front end styling of this vehicle. Love those LED headlights. Love that beautiful chrome grill with Mercedes-Benz Star. That is my favorite thing of this vehicle. So my all-time favorite thing is the virtual navigation, and you'll see it right here. In 500 feet, turn left, then you will have reached your destination. And is there a heated steering wheel somewhere here? I gotta find uh, that. There is, but I don't know where the button for it is. <laughs> well, that's mean. <laughs> I'm not telling them where it is. <laughs> right? <laughs>